my testimony is more of a, Bobby and I were discussing the difference between testimony and blessings <laughs> on the way here. And it's more of a, a blessing that happened to me. I, I received the Spirit back in 1992 when I was baptized by full immersion. But the testimony I want to give today is, um, it's been an ongoing thing for about the last year. Um, I was out taking Hunter for a walk on the trail. And 90% um, of the time, there's never anybody else on the trail other than me. And I'm, I'm usually pretty much aware of when there's people behind me or in front of me, I put them back on the leash because I let them sniff and do whatever. Anyway, I missed, uh, I didn't see this lady and Hunter ran up to her dog and um, her dog is not a friendly dog and it kind of went after Hunter and she was yelling at me and, um, and it just made me feel kind of, you know, when somebody that happens to you, you kind of get your pride up and stuff and you're like, and I was making excuses. Well, I didn't see you and I apologize, but an apology with excuses isn't really an apology. It's a prideful thing. Anyway, so I kind of held it against the lady and every time I'd see her walk in, I see her a lot, um, she'd turn around and walk the other way and I thought, well, that's kind of rude, but you know, whatever. Um, and so in my mind, I had taken something that I did wrong and transferred the blame to her and just said, well, that's just a rude lady and stuff. But the, the bottom line was I did something wrong. I didn't have my dog on a leash and I should have. And instead of taking responsibility for that, I transferred and excused and, and got self-righteous about it and a whole, whole mess of this stuff. And um, I see her all the time, and I thought, you know, the issue is my issue. It's not her issue. It's not that she was mean to me. I did the wrong thing. Yeah, she should have yelled at me because it scared her dog and it scared her and, and, and whatnot. And... Um, I started thinking about it, and I started praying about it, and I, I asked the Lord, well, what can I do different? Because I don't want this lady to hate me or think I'm, I'm just such a horrible dog mom. And um, I thought the next time I saw her, and she pulled off to the side of the trail and was hiding her dog in a shrub, and um, I talked to her. And I admitted that it was, to me, it was my issue. And I was friendly to her. And I find out that she's a pretty friendly lady. And so when I walk, I, I can say hello to her and stuff. But most of it was me being, transferring my emotions to her saying, well, she's just not a nice lady. Well, I was the one that wasn't the nice lady. And um, Bobby and I saw her this morning, and I was telling Bobby about the, the, the testimony of it because she hardly walks her dogs on the trail because her dogs are not friendly dogs. She has two of them. And so now she walks down my street, which almost makes it worse because here comes Hunter and I trotting up and down the street all the time and she's now on our street instead of on the trail. But I have a chance to talk to her and I find out, you know what? That was my issue and the Lord pointed it out. And instead of me holding kind of a grudge against her, but for something I did, I let it go. And I found out that she was just a pretty cool lady and that she um, struggles with her dogs and she needed compassion, not my, my kind of irritation and stuff. And so I just want to praise the Lord that he pointed that out to me and showed me how many times I transfer my emotions onto somebody else thinking this is what they're doing, this is what they're thinking. And it wasn't, it was me. I need to accept responsibility for my own issues and my own emotions and the things that I do wrong. And really took me about a year to really humble and repent that I was holding my issue against this lady and it just wasn't right. And so I just really want to praise the Lord that he kind of opened my eyes and let me see that. And hopefully I won't do that again or I will be more cognizant of it and stuff because I noticed that this isn't the first time I've done this. It's, um, it's something I, I, do, I do a lot if I get corrected or whatever and stuff. I put my back up and just like, well, 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 and I make excuses. And um, that's not what the Lord wants. He wants a humble heart. And so I can really praise the Lord that this goofy situation has, has really been an eye-opener for me, and I can really praise the Lord because I hope to be able to witness to this lady because now I do see her all the time, and now we're on a talking basis, and that's certainly way better than me holding stuff against her that I did. So I can really praise the Lord and I can thank him for opening my eyes to that.